嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 p h o n i p h o n i x 自然音标。p h o n i p h o n i x 自然音标的课程。今天老师要为你介绍的是 vocabulary of the day。vocabulary of the day。同样的，今天我们可以到 cn.com。edition.cn.com 去寻找本日的 headline news of the day， 并且从中去了解一些单字的拼音技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students, let's go to the cn.com, edition.cn.com, and search for the headline news of the day. And we can probably learn some vocabulary words, pronunciation, and spelling rules. Take a look from the session around the world. Today's the article title for today is the world's purest horse breed. Around the world, the world's purest horse breed. Around the world, the world's purest horse breed. Okay, let's take a look the from this article. And、uh, remember, students, if you would like to study with me with this with this article, just remember from the top right hand side you will see a search menu, and what you have to do just input the article title here into the search menu, and we can have the same story to study with. Okay, the article for today is Icelandic horses, the original horses of the Vikings. Again, the article for today is Icelandic horses, the original horses of the Vikings. Again, Icelandic horses, the original horses of the Vikings. Okay, here we have an image, and、uh, let's take a look the description from the image. There were the original horses of the Vikings taken to Iceland from Norway in the ninth and tenth centuries to help Norse settlers colonize their new surroundings. Fast forward a millennium, and after undergoing unique policy of pure breeding, the Icelandic horse is today perhaps the most majestic of all members of the equine family. Okay, Icelandic horses have been the in Iceland since the time the Vikings, and can be found. Across much of the country and Europe today, Icelandic photographer Rebecca Goddard-Dofter share her photos with CNN Sport. Okay, okay. Now let's jump up to the vocabulary, and we can see. Ah,、uh, let's try to learn some vocabulary words. First thing is let's read the. Headline news from me, around the world, the world's purest horse breed. Around the world, the world's purest horse breed. Around the world, the world's purest horse breed. And here we have two vocabulary words for today. All you have. And we are going to discuss the vocabulary words, meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. We use spelling bees, pronunciation, and spelling improvement and skill. Take a look at the first vocabulary words: horse, horse, horse. Noun: a solid hoofed, hoofed, plant-eating domesticate. Domesticated mammal with a flowing mane and tail, used for riding, ri- racing, and to carry and pull loads. Equus, Cabalus family, 
equity, the horse family descending from the wild Pozawalski's horse. The horse family also includes the asses and zebras. Example sentences: A horse pulling a cart carrying racegoers was struck by lightning and died, and a passenger was killed. Origin of English horse of Germanic origin. Origin related to Dutch Ross and German Ralph. And second word, Viking. 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 None. Any of the Scandinavians, seafaring pirates and traders who. Ready and settled in many parts of the northwestern Europe in the eighth and eleventh centuries. Example sentences: We should not forget that the Vikings continued to raid northwest Wales well into the eleven thirties. Origin from Old Norse Viking Viking. From Vike Creek, or Old English Vike Camp, dwelling place. And now I'm going to repeat the pronunciation and definition part、uh, for the vocabulary words. And this time I want you to read along with me. Let's do it together. Horse. Horse. Horse, numb, a solid hoot, planted in domesticated mammal with a flowing mane and tail, used for riding, racing, and to carry and pull loads. Echoes, echoes, Cabela's family, Equity, the horse family. Descended from the wild Pozawalski's horse, the horse family also includes the asses and zebras. Example sentences: A horse pulling a cart carrying racegoers was struck by lightning, and died, and a passenger was killed. Origin: Old English horse. Of Germanic origin, relative to Dutch Ross and German Ross. Okay, the second vocabulary words: Viking, Viking, Viking. None. Any of the Scandinavian seafaring pirates and the traders who raided and settled in many parts of the northwestern Europe in night. In the eighth and eleventh century, example sentences: We should not forget the Vikings continued to raid northwest Wales well into the eleventh thirties. Origin from Old Norse Vikinger from Vik Creek or Old English Vik 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 Camp, the dwelling place. Okay, students. Now it's the time. We're going to repeat the pronounce.、Uh, we're going to use phonics, advanced pronunciation and spelling rules. Okay, let's check out the first vocabulary word: horse. Horse. We look at horse is Korean word, ah, H O R S. Ah, 拼起来是 H O R S. 哈，这个这个拼法哈，然后。啊、uh, ，原本是 R O S 或者是 R O S S 哈，那看到这个 Ross 哈、uh, ，啊，美国有些店名都叫 Ross 哈。那我们看 horse 单音节的单字，所以很好解决，所以我们直接看它的啊、uh, ，onset 啊、uh, ，onset 是 H 啊、uh, ，所以开头的 consonant 开头的子音是 H，follow by 啊、uh,。
触控的不是很好。好，那我们来看，尾随的是我们的 nucleus， 我们的 nucleus 母核音在 o r， 那我们的 coda 在 s e， 所以跟随的尾音在 s e， 所以我们可以看到 s e 哈，记得 f e。S E V E 啊啊，这些我们讲说尾随的 E 的这种结尾的字哈啊，或者 Z E 啊，那 E 都是不发音，所以我们就念 F S V Z 啊。那有时候 S E 也会念 Z 啊，那很少状况哎 ，Z E 会念 S 啊。那这两个是常常变化的哈啊，这稍微注意一下哈。那当然，我们先看看哈 ，nucleus 加 coda 等于 rhymes， 啊，等于 rhymes， 所以我们的韵音，押韵的韵音，所以韵音在 o r s e， 也就是 ors。好，所以我们看哈，那我们再来看它的组合 ，h o r s e， consonant vowel r consonant。e， 好、哦，所以它这个组合很特别 ，consonant， 那、no, vowel， 啊 ，r， consonant， e， 好、哦，那当然，好、哦，所以我们看这个地方，我们画一个双线朝上。双线朝上那个，我们 O R 哈 ，O R 我们用一个公式哈 ，V 加 R 的 combination， 那么 R 就是 R control， 啊，我们用啊 p h o n i c 的规则 ，R control syllable，R control syllable，R 所控制出来的变音，啊，那的 A E I O U 加上 R 形成的美式双元音就是 R air。e or u 啊，所以我们看在这地方，我们念个 or 这个音，那 or s s 双线一打叉，那个一不发音的 s 一缩成 s， 所以这边写一个啊，这边我们这边写个 d， 代表它是一个 diff sound， 它是一个二合啊，它是一个二合母音哈，双母音。所以再来一遍 ，h o r s e consonant vowel r consonant e combination of v and r r control syllable o r s or or s e ending e silent e 好，我们称这个叫 silent e ending e silent e 啊，不发音的 e s e s horse again h o r s e consonant vowel r consonant e combination v and r vowel and r r control syllable o r s or o r s or s e ending e Silent e, s e s s, horse, horse, horse. 那我们来看第二个单词 Viking, v i k, syllable i n g. 那 i 它当然是啊 all Norse 哈 all Norse 哈古的这个挪威文之类的哈是 Viking 啊。啊，是本来是叫 Viking， 多个 R， 啊 Viking， 所以这个字我们就蛮简单的，中音在第一个音节，所以我们的 main stress 主中音在第一个音节，啊，那所以第一个音节就是我们的 strong syllable 强音节，我们第二个音节就是 weak syllable 弱音节。强跟弱，所以强音节，好，我们在弱音节的地方找到母音的位置，先补个弱母音节来念 e， 
N G digraph， 我们就念嗯，记得 I N G 结尾 ，I N G 结尾的字哈，那一定是 I 是念落母音 ，N 这边打双线 ，G 打叉 ，N G， 嗯嗯嗯，好，就是好，把它那个 N， 好，等于就是两个 N 哈，两个 N 加起来等于把 N 拉长，画个线。n 拉长画个线，嗯，所以这个地方哈是 n g 嗯，所以 n g 嗯 ，n c n k 嗯，好，那所以这是一个什么？这是一个 digraph 二合子音哈，二合子音。好，那它第一个音节我们看它组合呢 ，onset v 开头的 consonant 开头子音是 v。Followed by nucleus i 合音母合音在 i 啊 coda 啊尾音在 k 啊尾音在 k 那这个字它念 like 啊那因为我们如果没有一般来说我们知道哈如果结尾有一的话我们是去一加 i n g 所以我们就假设这个地方原来是有个一。那一套过来，它是 vowel consonant e 的公式，啊，所以 nucleus and 加 coda 等于 rhymes， 所以它的 rhymes 呢，其实如果 i k 是念 eek， 可是我们这边要 i k syllable， 啊，代表 i k e 念 ike， 啊，这种念法哈 ，i k e， 所以我们再来套用一下哈，所以这个字其实有点变音，所以我们念 vike。啊，或者我们写 y syllable k i n g 也可以，好，这样子给它套过来，好，套过来这个地方啊，我们呃也可以用这种方法来解释啊。好，那老师先查一下啊。好 ，OK， 好。所以我们来更正一下哈，我们再把它位移过来之后，我们就念 y 跟 king 啊会好一点啊。所以我们就那套用一个公式 consonant vowel syllable 啊，这我们套用这个 vowel before syllable 的公式啊，因为我给它更正一下哈啊，它是 y syllable k i n g 啊，有点像 y 的 king 哈，所以 y viking。好，所以套用这个公式就可以让它 i 直接念长母音了哈。所以我们先来看它的再来一遍哈 ，v i syllable k i n g。好，那我们套用 consonant vowel syllable。那我们这边啊，它没有 coda， 所以刚刚要把这个 coda 这个地方打擦掉哈，因为它要位移一个字哈。啊，位移之后来去发那个音啊，等一下哈。啊，今天触控笔不是很好哈。好，所以我们把它位移一个位置之后，啊，就啊比较 reasonable 了哈。到底该怎么念哈？所以它套用的是什么 ？vowel before syllable。好，所以我们可以看到哈，如果我们没有再做一个位移的这个位置时，它就比较难念长母音出来。所以这时候套用音节前是唯一的母音，所以 i 念长母音。Why? Ah, second syllable weak vowel I E. Digraph N G as N. Viking. Again, V I syllable K I N G. Main stress first syllable. Consonant vowel syllable. Vowel and syllable. Vowel before syllable. Long vowel I V I. Weak vowel. Weak syllable, second syllable. We got I, E, E, E. Digraph N G at N, King, King, Viking again. V I syllable K I N G. Main stress first syllable. First syllable strong syllable. Consonant vowel syllable. Vowel and syllable. Long vowel I, Y. 
second syllable weak syllable with an I E diagram N G S N Viking. 好了，同学们，我们再提这两个单词，再做一次练习。Horse, horse, horse, Viking, Viking, Viking. 好，以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day， 每日单词。同学们，如果你想觉得 David 老师用的 phonic 啊 phonic 啊自然发音的公式，但进入 phonetic 音标的世界，别用 phonic phonic 自然音标，用线性符号来表达母音发音的一些规则，如短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音，以及用线性符号来表达子音的特殊发音形式，如二合子音。啊，有帮助到你的拼音技巧逻辑的话，也欢迎大家用 Google Plus。Google 加 David 老师做好朋友啊，当然找到老师 ID David T T R N G A D A 啊，加我做你的 Google 网络朋友。Okay, friends, if you find my videos pronunciation videos are useful, simply ah,、uh, if you wish to become my friend and just try use Google Plus and find my ID David T T R N G A D A and join me. Ah,、uh, in Google Plus Friend Circle, and if you wish to write me an email, here is my email account: davidtdngadi at gmail dot com, and I'm also use Line Communicator. My Line ID is davidtd one six aa. Feel free to send me a message. At last, thanks for your video watching and sharing my YouTube channel. Ah,、uh, don't forget if you like my videos, just simply subscribe my YouTube channel. 不要忘了喜欢我们的影赞，还是要订阅我们的 YouTube 频道哦。以上就是今天的 Vocabulary of the Day， 每日单字。谢谢各位同学的观赏。